Welcome to Boo. So apparently not everyone knows as much about all this shit as I do. So I'm gonna try to do a quick little rundown. What's Booth? Booth is this chaotic fucking mess we have right here. These are multiple booths that they made in the past. Right here we got a big avatar one with the off of it, you can see. Thing looks fucking amazing. There are hundreds of people that go through this. All these booths get, get built in about three or four days. After that, there's about a week where everyone, not just CMU students, but residents of Pittsburgh, our families, anyone visiting alums, can go through and tour each and every one of them. A lot of the booths have like a little game in them. Sometimes they have a prize you can win. They're all fully decorated inside. They're kind of, I think of them almost like a haunted house, except they're not really meant to be scary, more like artistic or just kind of fun. A lot of the time they're based on like a movie or some like different kind of theme, like a is doing, I think astrology, DG is doing Rick and Morty this year, that sort of thing. There are a couple specific ones I found that I really liked. Here we have, I believe this is Sigep doing Sesame Street. It just looks amazing. And over there we have Feta doing their Enchanted Garden. You can kind of tell there's like slightly different, you can take slightly different takes on everything, but there's a lot of different aspects where you need different kinds of people to do everything. Like, I could maybe design some of this, but then, even though this is pretty basic, I'd still struggle to paint it. And there's no way I'd be able to paint any of that. Here we have one of the old Fido ones, which I believe you can actually find. The Fido Planet 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I believe you can actually find that over in our kitchen. But this was one of our booths. It's a two floor design. You can go up around, fully decorated. Thing looks gorgeous. Hopefully, we'll be able to make something that is on par, if not way better than this. That's my goal, at least. So, here's our main floor plan. We're going to have an outdoor walkway off an entrance. Then we're going to have an airlock, a center main habitat room. This is kind of a transition space, which we're going to be using as a Martian night landscape, as opposed to like an outdoor landscape. And this is going to be kind of like a space section. So this is the Martian walkway. When you're coming from the outside of the booth, we're going to really go for like, when we're looking at this, it should look like it's an actual Martian habitat that has just been transplanted from Mars onto Earth. So we're going to be trying to make the outside look very industrial, kind of grungy, a little bit dirty. We're going to put down like red soil and rocks on the actual outside so it feels like you were walking on Mars before you actually enter the booth. And I forgot to put a picture of it. We're actually going to put a massive dome on top of the building. How we're going to put it on there? We're figuring that out. But it'll, it'll be interesting. So yeah, outside Martian landscape. As we come to the first room indoors, ooh, stepping on paint buckets. As we come to the first room indoors, we're going to be going into like an airlock. So we're kind of some of the images that I, I'm using for inspiration. Here was one of the drawings that Anthony made. So if you can see, we're kind of going for a transitioning from the dirty space side to the cleaner industrial, like cleaner kind of living spaces but there's kind of a story we're telling of the dirt that's being tracked in. Then here we have the main living space. For those of you who have seen The Martian, where he's trying to grow potatoes on fucking Mars, this is kind of the main living space, as well as we're going to incorporate a small like grow area. So here are some more designs we've got, like different industrial shelving you see him going through in the movies, some kind of like living space type things. Here we have a machine to kind of help like add hydrogen back into the air and into the soil. This is what you're actually seeing over here. We're then going to have, I don't know if, I think this was one of the earlier drawings, I don't know if it's a current one, but we're going to actually have a sectioned area, cordoned off, where we're then going to have dirt and small plants growing very much like he does in the movie. And Another photo to kind of give you an idea for like how the shelving and everything's going to look on the inside. Now we're back on the next section. This section's like we're kind of taking a little bit more liberties with. In this part of the movie, he has to basically take a trek from his habitat off to a faraway point on Mars to then be able to hopefully escape. 
So we're going to be taking some inspiration from kind of like this scene, as well as possibly incorporating more of like a nightscape side of Mars. And one of the small photos for planning that out. And then now onto our last room before the exit. This is then like a space room. So in here we'll be able to kind of have finished the story of he has escaped and survived Mars. Now he's back on the way home. So we're going to be having much more of a actual like spaceship type design influenced by some of these scenes of the movie. Come up, Bill! It's really fun. I fucking love this shit, as you can tell, because I woke up at 8.30 to make a goddamn presentation for y'all. But yeah, come help out.